Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of m, plus 4 to the power of m, plus 8 to the power of m, this is equal to 39. So what is the value of m, given that m is a member of real numbers? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have 2 to the power of m, plus 4 to the power of m, this can be expressed as 2, to the power of 2, then raised to the power of m, then plus 8 to the power of m, this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3, raised to the power of m, this is equal to 39. Now, 2 to the power of 2 to the power of m, and 2 to the power of 3 to the power of m, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n, multiplied by m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power of m plus 2 to the power of m raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of m raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 39. So 2 to the power of m is common here. So we can let 2 to the power of m be equal to u. So let's substitute u where we have 2 to the power of m. So that now we have u plus u squared plus u to the power of 3. This is equal to 39. So we can write this as u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u. Now let's take 39 on the left hand side. So this is minus 39. This is equal to zero now we have u to the power of three plus u to the power of two plus u minus 39 this is the same thing as minus 27 we have minus 27 minus 9 minus 3 this is equal to zero all right so we have u to the power of three plus u to the power of 2, then plus u, subtract 27. 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3, then subtract 9, which is 3 to the power of 2, then minus 3, this is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 here, and 3 to the power of 3, so we can express this as u to the power of 3, minus 3 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, subtract 3 to the power of 2 then plus u minus 3 this is equal to 0 now we have that from the first part here this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 and the second part here this is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared so in this case, we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This can be expressed as a minus b into the parentheses. This is a to the power of 2 plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. This implies that u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. This can be expressed as u minus 3 into the parentheses. This is u squared plus 3u, then plus 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Let's call this equation 1. Now let's call this equation 1, so that we have also a squared minus b squared. This is actually the difference of two perfect squares, that is a plus b, multiplied by a minus b. So u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2. This can be expressed as u plus 3 multiplied by u subtract 3. So this is equation 2. Now, this implies that we have u subtract 3 into the parentheses. This is u to the power of 2 plus 3u plus 9. Then we have plus u plus 3 
multiplying by u minus 3. Then here we have plus u subtract 3. This is equal to 0. Now, we have that u minus 3 here is common. u minus 3 is common here. So we can factor out u minus 3. Now, into the parentheses here, we have u to the power of 2 plus 3u plus 9. Then here we have plus u plus 3. Then plus here we have 1. Close the parentheses. This is equal to 0. So we have u subtract 3 multiplying by here we have u squared plus 3u plus u this is 4u then plus now we have 9 plus 1 this is 10 plus 3 this is 13 so we have plus 13 this is 13 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 now we have got two parts here the first part is u minus 3 this is equal to 0 and the second part is u squared plus 4u plus 13. This is equal to 0. Now, from the first part here, we have that u is equal to 3. And from the second part here, we have a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 13. So we need to assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value which is actually b squared minus 4ac. So let's substitute the values of a, b and c here so that now we have 4 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 then times 2 which is 13. So here we have 4 squared, this is 16, minus 4 times 13, this is equal to 52. So we have that 16 minus 52, this is minus 36, and this is less than 0. And this implies that here we have two complex roots, we have two complex roots, and therefore this means that there is no real solution that can be obtained from this quadratic equ equation. Therefore, the quadratic equation part is rejected. So we reject the quadratic equation. And let's focus on u, which is equal to 3. So if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let 2 to the power of m b equal to u. Right? So we have 2 to the power of m, this is equal to u, and u is equal to 3. So we have 2 to the power of m, this is equal to 3. To solve for m here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. We have rog 2 to the power of, that is 2 to the power of m, this is equal to rog 3. So rog 2 to the power of m, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. So applying this power root property of logarithm, then rog 2 to the power of m becomes m rog 2. This is equal to rog 3. So let's divide both signs by rog 2. And also here we have rog 2. So let's simplify rog 2 and rog 2 here. So that we have m is equal to, now, rog 3 over rog 2. This is in the form of rog a over rog b, which we can express as rog a to base b. Now, applying this property, then here we have m equal to rog 3 to base 2. So this is the value of m. The next step is to verify that this value of m here satisfies the equation. So let's verify from here. Now, if you recall, 
we end at 2 to the power of m plus 4 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m. This is supposed to give us a value of 39. So let's substitute the value of m here so that we have 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2, then plus. We can express 4. This is 2 to the power of 2, then log 3 to base 2, then plus. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3, multiplying by m, which is log 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 39. All right, so this is 2 to the power of row 3 to base 2, then plus. Now, remember 2 is a power here, so we can express this as 2 to the power of row 3 to the power of 2 to base 2, then plus. We have that 3 is a power here, so this is the same thing as 2 to the power of row 3 to the power of 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 39. Now, we have that this is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a, and this should give us a value of b. So this implies that 2 to the power of rog 3 to base 2, this should give us a value of 3, and 2 to the power of rog 3 squared to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 3 squared, which is 9. And we have that 2 to the power of rog 3 to the power of 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. Now, if we substitute 3, 9, and 27 back to the equation here, then we have 3 plus 9 plus 27. Let's check if this is supposed this is this gives us a value of 39. So we have that 9 plus 3, this is 12. 12 plus 27, this is equal to 39. And this is equal to 39. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of m here which is equal to log 3 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.